Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show and welcome to my weekly fitness check-in. I am a day late, per usual. <laughs> um, I've been doing that a lot lately, but I feel like I'm just still trying to recover from this weekend. Oh my gosh, I'm so not used to going and going like that. I was so exhausted. I'm still exhausted and I feel like I could just go to sleep right now. So I am actually filming this. What time is it? eight o'clock at night so I have worked all day today I haven't even done my workout yet but I'm going to um so I need to get this done like pretty quickly I feel like I've even kind of lost my voice a little bit um let's just go ahead and get into it so um this was my second week of MBFA which is muscle burns fat I only have one more week to go I did end up missing a workout this week, but we'll get into that in a second. Um, let's see. Let's go calorie intake and protein. And I think that's it. That's on this one app. So I did do one, one, one morning workout this week. I haven't done a morning workout since I started keeping up with morning workouts. <laughs> Um, but we left for Nashville at like noon this day, so I did go ahead and get my workout in, which I was pretty proud of myself. It's something I don't usually do. I'm usually like, eh, it's fine. Um, okay, so for Monday I had 1,083 calories. Also, I kind of feel like I just don't really have much of an appetite this past week or even like today i don't know i feel like i'm on the struggle bus i had a red bull almost every single day i had a red bull pretty much for breakfast this day for lunch i ended up just eating like some veggies like some carrots with some ranch dressing and i had some popcorners and then for dinner i ended up just making some popcorn chicken and having some cucumbers um it's just kind of like snacking all week i feel like i need groceries I'm going to have to go get groceries at some point this week. I don't know when. I am in full swing of just trying to get TPC orders out. So that has took over my life. Tuesday I had 13.52 for breakfast. I did have Shakeology. For lunch I drank another Red Bull. I had fixed Roxy. Um, a hot dog for lunch in the air fryer, so I had a couple hot dogs, um, no bun, and I had peeled me cucumber, and then for dinner, I think I had made some chicken tenders a couple days before or something, I don't know, I heated up some chicken tenders, and I made some Uncle Ben's butter and garlic ready rice, and then more cucumber, that was that day. Wednesday only had 955 calories. Oh, I've been forgetting to check my protein. Oh, whoops. Breakfast, I had a Red Bull. For lunch, I had a bacon and egg sandwich, and that is all she wrote. I don't, I don't know. I just didn't feel like eating dinner. I don't know. Um, Thursday, I had 1361. I did have Shakeology for breakfast for lunch another red bull i don't know what is wrong with me um i had went and got some rotisserie chicken and it was rotisserie pulled pork too at walmart um to be able to have something to take to my mother-in-law's for roxy to have to eat on all weekend because she was going to watch her for us and i had never gotten this stuff at walmart before i was going to go to kroger and get a rotisserie chicken but I ended up, ended up finding that there. It was, like, already seasoned and everything. Um, and the pork was, like, really, really good. The pulled pork. So I ended up just um, measuring out a serving of that this day. I put some cheese on top. And I just made, like, how I would eat a pulled pork sandwich is I would do barbecue sauce and onion and pickle. That's personally how I would do it. So I just kind of put all that in the bowl without the bun and ate it like that. And then for dinner, um, our friends came over, Casey was helping Nate do something in the Kim's car. They were going to go eat at El Patron after they left and they asked us if we wanted to go. So we did go ahead and go eat Mexican that night. I really didn't eat a lot because I feel like I had literally just ate 
the pulled pork. So, um, ended up with twelve seventy on Friday. Um, but this is like. This is a day we were in Nashville, so I grabbed a Red Bull, leaving to go to Nashville. We ended up stopping at Chick-fil-A um, on the way, and I did eat an eight-piece nugget and just like a few fries. Absolutely did not eat dinner, um, but I drank. I had some sort of drink at some bar while we were waiting to go to the concert, and then at the concert, I had a Truly, which I had never drank before. Not my favorite. I don't feel like I'm a big seltzer person, but I drank it. Um, it, I guess, is healthier than drinking like a beer or something. It was only 100 calories. I had one of the wild berry ones, and then pretty hungry after the concert, but we were so exhausted. We ended up just going back to the hotel room and Casey went over to a convenience store that was like right next door and ended up getting me some chips and that's pretty much all I ate. Um, Saturday we got up and pretty much left. I had 1500 calories this day. Um, there was like breakfast at the hotel and Casey got like just a plate full of sweets and there was like these little teeny tiny cinnamon rolls like I ate one. On the way, we stopped, and I had another Red Bull. I got me some Chex Mix because I was hungry. We didn't stop anywhere on the way home because we had to make sure we got home in time to just have a little bit of time before we turned around and went to the other concert. And so I did not have dinner pretty much all night that night. Um, we came home. We only had like two hours. And I was so tired, you guys. My feet hurt me so bad. I, it felt like my toes were going to fall off. I'm not even kidding. Um, you'll see in the amount of steps that I had that day. Uh, and then, of course, everybody stood for the whole concert. So I had to stand. I didn't have to, but, you know, it was Garth Brooks. It was pretty... It was a really good concert. We had fourth row seats. It was, it was pretty good. Um, I stood for the whole concert, and I just was dying. And then, like, going back through... Um, the strip there it was kind of like all uphill and it just I was my feet my legs my back everything was dying I pretty much just sat on the couch and did nothing until we had to turn around and go and then so we got to the place pretty much right in time for the concert so we saw Alabama the band Alabama on Saturday night I had drank another one of the Trulies that night it was like a bigger one so it was like double the amount that I drank the night before I got the strawberry lemonade one this night and then um on our way back through we stopped at Wendy's and I got a plain spicy chicken sandwich and that was it um so just like a lot of snacking and fast food it really adds up your calories pretty quickly which is not great but yesterday I just really I was so tired. I took the day to myself. I literally laid in bed all day long and napped and binged TV and that was it. I laid on a heating pad. I did my neck massager just trying to recover. Um, my feet still hurt. My shins were killing me. My calf muscles were really tight feeling. My back was still hurting. My neck, my head, just everything. Ugh. Anyway, you can tell I just sit on my butt all the time because all of the walking and the standing, I just, my body was not having it. I drank one of the strawberry milks for breakfast yesterday. I did have another Red Bull and I ended up just eating some of the popcorn chicken last night and um, I did have some smart pop white cheddar popcorn and that was it. Um, not the best food week, but honestly my calories are not that bad. It's just wasn't the greatest food choices. Um, let me go back and pick up the protein. So for, I don't know why it does that. I go to the day and I click on protein and it takes me all the way back to today. So 29 protein. Well, I'm doing great. 29 protein for this day. Tuesday was 106. That was better. Um, Wednesday was only 43. Uh, Thursday, 93. I never did get that other protein order that I was going to. It's just been so busy. We were trying to get orders done before we left. And it's just been busy, busy, busy. 39... 
Saturday and uh, yesterday only 40 so I did crappy as far as food goes um but it's okay I just I need to go get food and make a meal plan I feel like most of this week is going to be much of the same just trying to rummage around and see what I can find in the kitchen which is not a lot I can go ahead and tell you okay let's get in to the workouts um, let me find my days, I guess. What? Friday. Okay. So, Monday I had 6,872 steps. My steps were, like, really good this week. I did do stretches this day because I did do my workout. I burned 318 calories with that lower body. Um... I think I did do the correct one on this day. So my steps this day was 7,754. Um, I actually skipped this day working out for whatever reason. I think I was just busy. <laughs> um, but I did pick it up and I did two the next day. My steps to stay for Wednesday was 9,907. You can see how much I was in the office by all of my steps every day, for sure. So, this workout, I burned 200, no, I think that was my arm workout. I'll say, so the core workout I did on Wednesday, but I burned 300 calories. Um, and then the arm workout that was supposed to be for this day was 217 calorie burn. Oh, and I had um, my AMRAP for this day. I don't even remember. I th <laughs> Did I say I got 10 the last time? I think, I think I did nine this day, which is two more than I did the week before, so that's good. Thursday, I had 8,499 steps. I did work out this day and I burned 362 calories in that full body. I love the full body workout. It's probably my favorite one. Um, okay, I was like, what did I do? I, this is the workout that I missed, the core circuit workout. So Friday we did leave at noon. Actually, before noon. We had to be at a friend's house at noon. So, we left here about 11.30. I got up and did my workout first thing. And I can go ahead and tell you that I know I don't like morning workouts. I felt stiff. I felt just so tired. I definitely, if I can ever get myself in a routine, I definitely am going to have to give myself like an hour or so to get like woke up, to get like limbered up. Um, and that kind of thing before I work out because it was not cool. So I knew that this workout was probably going to take me like 35, 40 minutes. And the Power Ignite workout is shorter. It was only 25 minutes. So I went ahead and did that one just to save myself some time because I just needed to get ready and leave. So the calorie burn did not happen for this one, but I did do it on this day. Um... Let me see. That was 214 calories. It was so hard. And in the middle of it, I had just wished that I um, had done the other workout. It was very, very hard. Okay, so my steps for this day. Hold, hold on to yourself because 13,000. 537 and that is why everything hurt um saturday 7547 and then sunday i did not work out and i didn't even put my watch on so i'm not even gonna count i think there was like 200 steps on it but that's just from it being midnight on saturday into sunday so uh, that was my week Again, not not the best food week, but I feel like I did pretty good as far as um, workouts and stuff went. I was so, so busy, but I still got most of them done. I'm very proud of myself for doing the one before we left to go to the concert. So, 
Um, my non-scale victory for the week is we got the first batch of TPC orders completed. I was so proud of us for doing that. It was a lot, lot, lot of work, but we did it and we got it done. My self-care for the week, I feel like it was just going out and having a good time. So I just put weekend adventures. We never have weekends like that. It's been almost a year since we went to a concert. Um, that was a very busy weekend for us. And then just Sunday, taking the day for myself to just be lazy. I don't really get to do that a whole lot. I almost did some computer work, but then I didn't. Um, I was just like, you know what? Just take the day. You deserve it. Um, I did lose 1.3 pounds this week, you guys. Um, and so I'm back to the total of 10 pounds lost. I'm not going to get too excited because I know how my body be doing me lately. And... More than likely, I will gain this week. Hopefully not. I don't want to jinx myself. Okay, so going into this next week, it is already Monday this day, but it is April 18th through the 24th. I'm going to be using this kit. Um, it is a February 2021 mystery from Scribble Prince Co. Um, it doesn't have a name. She doesn't really name her mystery kits, but I love the colors and it's very springy and pretty, but I just like the theme of it is not my jam. I'm not a book person. I don't read. I mean, I feel like I probably need to, but who knows if I ever will. So I know I probably will never, the patterns are really fun. I will never use this in my main planner, so thought we'd go ahead and pull it for this one since it is spring time and it is a very very springy kit and I didn't pull any foil normally haven't been for this planner but I'm gonna go ahead and get this laid down and then we'll come back in the end and talk about the week ahead always think of you when spring comes like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me back to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday
right, you guys. This is what we're looking like. Very, very pretty. I do love the colors of this. So going into the last week, week three of Muscle Burns Fat Advanced. And I uh, already know what I'm going to do after this, but we'll get into that next week. Um, it's a program that I've never done before, so I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I did switch upper and lower around. Um, I'm fixing to go do this one right now. I just feel still very run down and exhausted. And I know the upper body workout is the easiest one of the week. So I don't want to not do it or talk myself out of it. So if I know I do the easiest one, it will get done. So um, definitely have to work on a lot of things as usual. Um, that protein count for last week was just really bad. Um, definitely need to get groceries this week. That's something that is going to have to happen. Um, meal plan and prep and all of that. So, um, the quote of the week, the body achieves what the mind believes. So just believe you can do it, put the work in and you'll get it done. Um, that is it for this check-in. I really do hope that me uh, checking in with you guys every week and showing you my struggles and you know my journey really helps you to make you feel better about your journey um, and that it doesn't always have to be complete perfection every single day. Um, it's okay to stumble um, and fall. It's just you just got to be consistent in in the things that you do. You just got to if one day's bad, do better the next day, you know, and that's all that I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to be very consistent, especially in my workouts. Um, food is the worst thing for me. I feel like I'm just so picky and I'm just so lazy about not wanting to cook and things like that. That's definitely something that I have to personally get better on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below your any non-scale victories or scale victories that you had for this past week and I would love to celebrate with you so um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like subscribe hit all those notifications do all the things so you don't miss all the things and I'll check back with you guys next week bye guys